Let's go, folks. All right. Well, everybody, we are in once again another airport. Sorry, I would have vlogged more of the uh, the whole process, but I had to help a lady that was having a seizure. So yes, had to help a lady that was having a seizure, and good thing I'm an Eagle Scout because I knew to keep her in certain positions for uh, for safety and such. But it has been a wild morning. I just kind of want to sit on my gate, sit down, drink a cup of a cup of water or something, and uh, get ready to take off to California. All right, we were about to board our plane. I'm almost, I'm almost done traveling with this, uh, with this Phantom because it's just too big. So I think eventually I'm gonna have to get a smaller drone to be able to travel with. But as of now, we're gonna hop on flight number 689, bound for Houston. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I can take that. Yeah. That's for me. 23. Good morning. Thank you. We are bound for California. All right, we have made it to California. All right, folks, we got the goods. It's time to head outside and look for Matt. He said he's in a gray Honda, so. Oh, I'm a fan of this weather. Found Matt. All right, everybody. This is Matt. He works at AFCO. You'll see him throughout this whole trip, I'm sure. But we're at Wahoo's. Yes, Wahoo's. Wahoo's fish tacos and such. Because when you're near the coast, you gotta eat fish. But let's see who's calling me. Hello. We just had some delicious fish tacos, and we're gonna head over to AFCO's factory, not factory, their warehouse and the offices, and just see where your clothes come from. All right, we are here at the AFCO plant. We're gonna come inside and just see what they're all about. They're about Christmas, that's good. So over here we have a little bit of story of where AFCO came from, uh, milk shed with uh, sea roll. Wow. Um, it's kind of where it all started. Yeah. We developed in the clothing and taco business. And Very cool. Right in front of us we kind of have where we're at today with any fish, any water, yeah. fresh water, salt water, um, as well as our 10% pledge. Yeah. Um, and all kind of the foundations we work with. That's dope. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, 10% of it, is it income that you guys get? 10% of our profits. 10% of their profits they give back towards water conservation and fish conservation, that kind of stuff. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, good luck tomorrow. One second, let me vlog you real quick. We just finished with the meetings. This is Casey, he's he's my, my boss's boss. What's up guys? And he, he does a lot of stuff here at AFCO and we are in the clothes room, is that what we call it? Yeah, the conference room. The conference room. Sure. Man, we got lots of clothes in here to check out. We got some spiky hooks. Gaffs. Some some gaffs. God, I, I would I would get killed if I gaffed a bass. We're gonna go check out what are we doing? Tackle shop. Yeah, we can check out some clothing. Check out some uh, tackle and kind of head down to uh, one of our big tackle shops in the area. All right, and we'll see y'all there. All right, so Matt and I have headed to a tackle shop called Melton Tackle, which very interesting name. But uh, he said they sell like saltwater stuff. A lot of saltwater gear, a lot of big game uh, gear, okay. marlin, tuna. Marlin and tuna. Um, kind of a whole variety. No dinky smallmouth. Mm. Comment below if you've caught a fish that big. I highly doubt it. I have definitely not. But one day, blue marlin's on the bucket list. That's for that's for the drop shots, right? Yeah, this is a uh, this is actually for fishing uh, big tuna on the rail. Uh, <laughs> this store has I don't even know how to explain it. It has gear that probably you at home will never touch, and I'll probably only touch once or twice in my life in terms of these big fish, but. That's a gaff right there. Put him gaff. That's uh, in the tournaments. I always make sure to gaff my bass before I bring them in. I smell a challenge coming, folks. A new A rig challenge with uh, like 19 baits. Oh, gosh. Oh, that break is so good. <laughs> well, folks, we have made a stop to what is this beach? This is called the Wedge in Laguna. Okay, so we're at Laguna Beach. This is called the Wedge. It is something that I've looked at 
on the internet in terms of surfing and skimboarding for years and so hopefully I'll be here later on in the week or next week uh, doing some skimboarding but we got kids down here doing some skimming oh this is such a beautiful beautiful place you guys are lucky if you live in California on the beach side at least because you get to see and live around all this beautiful stuff but I say it's time we head back to the hotel and grab some dinner. Grab some dinner. Beach time is over. We headed to Walmart to get a, uh, a fishing license because I'm not about to fish illegally, which I have definitely done before in uh, in several states. But California, I've heard, is pretty stingy about their whole fishing license deal. Absolutely. So, so uh, we got a fishing license. We're going to head up to a place called Islands, eat some dinner. I think it just got really dark, I'm assuming. But we'll see you guys back at the hotel. Looking for room number 220. Shout out to AFCO for sticking me in this new hotel. Supposedly, I'm gonna sleep in a bed that no one has ever slept in before. So, what a, what a privilege. What a time to be alive. Ha! Ah, got it. Oh my. This is wild. Look at this bed. And that time change has got me. So I'm gonna lay down. <clears throat> so everybody, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know the travel vlog is something that I don't get to do very often because I guess I don't travel as much as a lot of the other YouTubers, but hopefully you enjoyed the process of coming from Austin all the way out here to Southern California, Huntington Beach. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the series. I don't know if I'm gonna do individual videos or if it's gonna be a part of a whole series, uh, starting with fishing tomorrow for calico bass, a brand new species that I've never caught before. So make sure you guys stay tuned within the next few days of me putting out the calico bass video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button as well. And we'll see you guys in the next episode of Tyler's Jewel Fishing. Now SoCal is home to some of my biggest heroes in life. We got Ben Shapiro, Oliver Nye, that's uh, pretty much it.